Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Tara Christie. She's the president and CEO of Banyan Gold. It's a publicly traded company. The symbols are BYN on the TSX Venture and BYAGF on the OTCQB. And Banyan Gold will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 12 through 15, 2023. For more information to see Tara's presentation and meet with her at the event, please go to PreciousSummit.com. And with that, Tara, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Been great. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely, it's been a, it's been a minute, uh, two years. <laughs> Look at us. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we we always have our annual check, but all all, all jokes aside, you know, uh, we're glad to have you back here. And for those that may not have seen any of the interviews that we've done over the years, um, can we get that quick overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Banyan is a gold focused exploration company in the Yukon's new Tombstone Gold Belt. Uh, it's really an exciting new part of Canada. We now have a 6.2 million ounce uh, inferred gold resource. It starts right on surface. We have a power line to a hydroelectric dam, uh, go right across the property in addition to existing roads and infrastructure. You know, this is a tier one asset in a tier one location where you could actually permit mines. And we've taken it from no resource when we acquired the property in 2017 to already 6.2 million ounces with lots of growth potential uh, still ahead of us. Very good. So like I said, last time we did an interview together was two years ago. We published that on August 13, 2021. We were actually joking offline how, you know, at that time it was in the hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, gold out, gold uh, gold reserves inferred. Now you're up over 6 million. So, you know, maybe tell us some more highlights for the company in the last 12 months or so. Well, you know, the really big highlights has been our resource growth Um Back in 2021, we had 900,000 ounces. We drilled 40,000 meters to come out with 4 million ounces in 2022. And then we drilled another 50,000 meters and just put out this spring a new 6.2 million ounce. So that's tremendous growth. You know, our cost is under $7 per ounce uh, for those um, ounces. So it's been really rapid growth. And, and that's the real story is just showing you how fast you can advance a project in this jurisdiction. And that's partly because of our infrastructure and the skill of our team being able to, you know, drill out this so quickly. And can you also give us a little background on the, the Tombstone Gold Belt? You mentioned that it's brand new. It's recently, you know, we're, I'm, I'm a generalist here, right? So I for, forgive me if anybody, you know, is hearing this, like, how do you not know about this already? So I apologize, but love to hear a little bit more about this new Gold Belt that, that you're referring to. So yeah, in Canada, you know, you have quite a few famous gold belts like Red Lake. I think the Yukon's just starting to have that now. And, you know, back in 2020, we had Victoria Gold reach commercial production just down the road. They're an intrusion related uh, gold deposit that's now being mined. And you can see that heat bleach projects work in the Yukon. And since then we've had other major discoveries, including our ORMAC, where we made the discovery at Powerline in 2019. So this is a brand new project, essentially. And then all the way to the east, where you've got Snowline, which is getting lots of attention. It's also the same intrusion-related gold deposit. So this is a huge belt that spans the whole Yukon. It actually goes over into Alaska. Um, and I think it will be a really important mining center for Canada with these new discoveries and, and some of the grades that we're seeing and the fact that you can build and permit mines here. So I think the generalists are just starting to get attention uh, towards the Yukon and this particular area. And I think it's going to be pretty exciting going into the fall. Uh, you Perfect segue, you know, uh, to close this out here from what you can tell us. Can you tell us a little bit about the next steps? You know, as you said, you know, in the Yukon, it's Obviously, it sounds like it's very friendly to the mining industry and to to build out some mines and get the permitting and everything like that. So what are some of the next steps for Banyan Gold now that you have this new resource on the property? You know, I'd love to hear more there. You know, 2023 is a really exciting year for Banyan. We started drilling in March. We have exceptional infrastructure, which really lets us advance this project year round. We've already drilled 25,000 meters and, and released 25 holes, but lots more news flow to come as we have a lot of holes and assay results to come through the fall and into the winter. We're also focused on our metallurgy to really show how this project could be developed, as well as other aspects of de-risking it. We know there's a really substantial gold deposit here 
here at 6.2 million ounces with room for it to grow. The infrastructure really makes, sets us apart. Uh, and the fact that we are already in an area where there's two mines that are permitted right beside us. Very good. And one last question before for you before I let you go here. You know, again, from what you can tell us, you know, what's the ultimate goal our goal for the company? Do you want to take this through to, you know, actually mining it, pulling gold out of the ground, you know, as Banyan, or are you looking for a JV partner or potentially get acquired? I mean, from what you can tell us, you, I mean, I'm sure all options are on the table, of course, but, you know, absolutely. if you had your druthers, I'd, I'd be curious to hear. Yeah, you know what? I'm a big shareholder. You have to realize I'm a 5% shareholder, which I've had to purchase in the market. I wasn't the founding CEO of this property. So, you know, the outcomes really are what is the best value for shareholders for me. That's what motivates me. And yeah, all options are on the table. But quite frankly, projects that have a resource over 5 million ounces that are in a tier one location that's permittable, um, they're pretty rare. So when you're a hot commodity like that, and all the majors are starting like $1,900 gold. And we had $2,000 gold not to is a really good gold price. There are a bunch of companies that are very cashed up who need to put ounces on their books. So, you know, it's not going to be me that makes the uh, the decision. If, if somebody comes uh, and makes a good offer that's compelling for my shareholders, you know, we're going to decide to to do that. And I really think that in this market, there really are not very many projects like Bannon with a road power um, I, I I think it's going to be interesting times as we go into the fall in 2024. So Tara, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Banyan Gold? Our website has a wealth of information. Our YouTube videos come to the Precious Metals Summit. Um, we'll be doing various marketing events, which you can find on our website, banyangold.com. And um, love to talk to shareholders and potential new shareholders. That's, uh, you know, I think it's... Uh, it's definitely time to look at some of the compelling projects. The valuations, as you know, right now um, are, are pretty compelling for new investors. Well, Tara, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thank you, Robert.